Hi there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I wanted to do another tutorial on some of the missing and hidden things in QuickBooks. And this one kind of had me for a bit and I couldn't figure out why it would show up and why it wouldn't show up. Sometimes it was there, sometimes it wasn't. And I just, for the life of me, couldn't figure out why until I saw something on Facebook that explained it. So let me just minimize this so we can go to the sample company. One of my favorite tools about the accountant version is the ability to reclassify transactions. So, for example, this is such a fast way of doing it. If you don't have this tool and you're not in the accountant version, then you don't have this tool. But if you do have the accountant version, it's a really wonderful tool. So let's just come down to dues and subscriptions. I can sort the category by name. I can actually come over here. If I wanted to move all these form swifts, I could move them all over to, I'm going to say computer and internet expense because it's a software. I can either come up here and just type in forms um, swift and now it's only going to show my form swift transactions. And then I can click this box and select them all and then I can move them from dues and subscriptions over to computer and internet and then reclassify them. So instead of having to open and close each transaction, I just move them all to that account. So if I went over to computer and internet, you'll now see that form swift is in there. So it's a really helpful tool. But let's say I'm gonna pick a big category that I have a lot of transactions. Let's just say that I want to go back to all here on the screen and bring in all my stamps.com and Amazon. So let's just say I noticed that this Amazon category did not belong I'll just pick something else. Let's just say that the stamps.com wasn't stamps for some reason. You wanted to move it to office. Where's the little box up here for me to make that ability to click them all? It's not here, so I'd actually have to come in here and individually click them. Well, the reason why it's not here, and if I come over here and just do stamps.com postage, let's just do that so then only these show up. Now the box shows up, and the reason why the box is there sometimes and not there sometimes is because it only shows it for 100 transactions. So if you have 101, the box disappears. So if you have a big, say this was full, and I had a lot of transactions in here and I wanted to move all of these, but the little box was gone because I had over 100 transactions, then you could come over here and just change your date range. Shorten up your date range just so it's 100. It'll be faster than having to go through and check box all of these. So that's just a kind of a hidden thing that if you didn't know, why is the box there sometimes? Why is the box gone? It drove me nuts. Like I couldn't figure out what the reason behind it was. That is the reason. So if I have more than 100 transactions on my screen, little box is gone. So the select all box is gone. Another helpful tool here in this accountant's toolbox is that we have the ability to come to reports and set a preset date range. So if you've ever gone into reports, it's, some of them are like year, today, some of them say this month to today, and there's I don't really know who decided what ranges were in what reports. But this little box right here, this little tool that's under accountant tools called report tools, is here and you can actually change it to whatever makes sense to you. This year to date, I like the range, I don't know if it's in here. Oh, I don't see it. I, I like to use the one this year to last month. Apparently that's not a selection, but you can do last month. Um, balance sheet is just gonna show last month because that's what I chose. If I come back here and choose um, report tools and change it to last quarter, to that same balance sheet report and now it's going to show me last quarter so it's a nice tool because if you do a lot of reporting i tend to do reporting with some of my clients monthly some of them are quarterly i can preset the client to the specific agreement that i have for them for the bookkeeping work and then it's already set to go so that's just a couple of things that are in quickbooks uh, accountant version and one of my favorite things in the quickbooks accountant version is i can undo a reconciliation and that was in one of my last uh, more recent blog posts that we have this ability to undo. So 
if I wanted to undo this one, I can come over here and just click the drop down and then click undo. Uh, regular users that don't have the accountant version don't have that button. So they need to either reach out to their CPA or their accountant if they want to undo a bank rec, or they have to man manually do it. And I do have that in another video. So hopefully that clears up some of the things that are kind of hidden in the accountant's version. If you have any questions or comments or would like to see more future videos on a specific topic, please reach out to me on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Bye now.